Criminal Amendment Bill 2022 criminalizes the declaration, accusation, naming, or labeling of another person as a witch in Ghana. The object of the bill is to amend the Criminal Offenses Act 1960, Act 29, to prohibit the practice by any person as a witch doctor or a witch finder. The Private Members Bill was sponsored by NDC MP for Medina, Francis Xavier Susu, and four others. By the passing of this law, also it means that all witch camps uh, stand uh, prescribed. In other words, they are all illegal. A non-governmental organization, Songtaba, has over the years been championing the cause to have the practice banned. We are so excited. I mean, this has been a long, sustained advocacy work that has paid. Uh, we have been calling for the anti witch Bill for a very long time. We've been doing so much work sensitizing communities and making sure that we encourage reportage around issues on witchcraft and stop this trial by ordeal. She called for the effective implementation of the bill. We need everybody to be on board to support in the implementation of this bill. Um, especially also around reintegration, which for me is a key strategy towards uh, the disbandments of the, the alleged witches camp. Witchcraft accusations in northern Ghana have left activists and many families helpless. These women are forced to leave their homes because of harassment, threats, and fear for their own safety. Between 2020 and May 2023, about four people, comprising three females and a male, have been lynched, with several others banished over witchcraft accusations in the northern and savannah regions. For residents, the passage of the bill will protect victims of witchcraft accusations. This will help reduce people pointing figures at others that they are witches. We are happy they passed the bill. Some other uh, family members who think that they are not progressing, what they want to achieve, when they are not achieving it, they tend to accuse the older woman that is just around them. Well, the passage of the bill is one step in the journey. The commitment of law enforcement agencies and stakeholders to ensuring full implementation is key. Steps should be taken to disband the Ngane, Kuko, and Gambaga alleged witch camps and reintegrate the inmates. Until then, the amendment bill will keep marking time. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News.